Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eddie, as known as Melta Skin, on Instagram and YouTube, where I cover skincare from all over the world, acne positivity, and sunscreen. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome. So, <laughs> if I'm talking weird or I look a little different, first of all, I had my wisdom teeth removed, which, ow, and today is like almost seven days a week from when I got them removed. So I've been like avoiding the camera and everything. Just like I can barely talk. Like I'm barely opening my mouth hole. <laughs> and talking too much hurts. But it's been almost a week. I want to do content. I'm feeling so sad and I have so many ideas. One of which is this video. And so I just wanted to let you know if I'm talking weird or look different, it's because of all that. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about new products that just released and we're gonna be trying them out together. So, let's get into it. But before we go into it, I'm gonna ask you to please hit that subscribe button and like this video and leave any lovely comment you would like on this video. Everything helps and thank you. So, let's go. Okay, so, first of all, I got a bunch of new skincare launches and like I didn't try them out because like my face has been hurting. Like I literally had to clean my face like this with my fingertips and tap in my serums like this. It was so weird because <laughs> everything hurt. But now it's not necessarily hurting touching my face. It's more so hurting talking too much. So I'm going to take breaks recording this. But now I'm a little back to normal. I'm a little still numb in this area, but I can touch my face. So let's play with some stuff. You know, I don't know when I'm going to be 100% better. So might as well do it now. But the first thing I went in with was a new cleanser by a new skincare brand called Smooth Beauty. So this is Smooth Beauty. They sent me their cleanser and their moisturizer. And this is a skincare brand that is about to launch. And by the time I upload this, it should be launching. But basically, they're a skincare company that's inspired by K-Beauty. So they have a lot of lovely K-Beauty ingredients in here, like... Um, licorice root extract, fermented rice, which is sake, centella, um, you know, they have uh, allantoin, turmeric, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really interesting line, and they're all meant for acne-prone skin, just to really calm your skin and help your skin heal. And their whole thing is listen to your skin's mood. So it's all about skin barrier repair, which I love. So I'm super excited on trying these guys. So I went in with the Calm Me Down Antioxidant Cleanser. So this is the only part of the video where you'll have hear me applying the product. Everything else I'm going to be applying right here on camera with you. But this was the Calm Me Down Antioxidant Cleanser. It has some really cool ingredients. It's got BHA to unclog the pores. It's got centella to heal the skin. It has green tea to calm down inflammation. It has oatmeal to really calm down redness on the skin. And it just is overall an antioxidant soothing cleanser cleanser that's not going to strip your skin because it's pH balanced. And it, look at this packaging, beautiful. I live for this kind of ombre coloring. Like if brands did that more, oh, in love. So when I first tried this on and looked at the ingredients, I was a little worried and like kind of confused because in fragrance is really high on the ingredient list, which kind of really confused me because I'm like, this is for acne prone skin. This is very modern, just released. I'm assuming they understand all that. And they're even marketing that it's essential oil free. So they're aware not a lot of people want that fragrance, right? So this does have a pretty big fragrance, but it's not coming from essential oils. So it's coming from their like own patented fragrance. And I will say it's, it's, a, it's a new scent I haven't smelled before. It's very like planty you know like i don't know but not even herbally it's something i've never tried like i can't quite explain it but i'm pretty sure it comes from all the extracts like raspberry and mulberry and then combined with green tea and centella it just becomes this concoction now if fragrance is a huge thing for you that might get in the way but the fragrance does not get in the way of the results so i used it this morning and it did not strip my skin it did not irritate my sensitive areas right here right here and around my mouth and it just left my skin really nice and clean and plump. And I look pretty, like, not agitated right now. Like, my skin is pretty soothed and not stripped. So that has nothing to do with it. It's very pH balanced, vegan friendly. It's made for all skin types. So obviously, it's directed for acne-prone skin types. So with the fragrance being included in there, they also did take that into consideration when marketing this and making this for acne-prone skin types. So as an acne-prone individual and hormonal acne, this did not bother me. So, so far, it's really good. The only thing I wish it would take out is the fragrance. But I like it. 
I really do. So that's my first impression. It's smooth. It had a nice little luxurious kind of foamy um, experience, but it wasn't too intense. So I really like it. I'm going to continue to test this out. But first impressions with cle this cleanser, it's really nice. I like where they're going with this, and I can't wait to see what more they come out with. And I really hope in the future they consider taking out fragrance, but we'll see. All right, so I toned my skin. So my skin is, you know, nice and hydrated and pH balanced. And now we're going to go in with a new toner. And this is by Coco Kine, and it is their Turmeric Illuminating Solution. Here it is in its glory. It's a nice, like, yellow bottle. And it's like a very milky toner. And it's basically an exfoliating toner. So it's got, ah, I almost dropped it. It's got 7% PHA, mandelic, and glycolic acid. So a nice combination of AHAs to like smooth out skin texture. And it really highlights turmeric. And turmeric is really known for like evening out skin tone, lowering inflammation, just being overall really good for pigmentation on the skin. It also has glycerin to hydrate the skin as well as oatmeal extract to really calm down redness. So this seems very simple and straight to the point. So let's pat it on. So I'm going to shake it up. And it does smell like turmeric. Let's see here. And we'll just, yeah, just gonna pat it. It comes out really nicely in a couple droplets. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Here it is. Ooh, okay, it's milky. I'm gonna put it all over the skin. Ooh, oh yeah, that smells like turmeric. No doubt about it, turmeric is in here. And, okay, so upon application, you can kind of see like a milkiness, almost like an emulsion kind of type. So that's interesting. All right. Um, the turmeric is really in there, but it has a subtle sweetness, which I kind of like. I don't feel any burning or tingling from the exfoliating acid, so that's interesting. So we're just gonna tap it in. Doesn't feel tacky. I like that. And it's just sinking into the skin. This actually feels really nice. Like this feels just Simple, like it just sunk in. That's really nice. It's not bothering literally any part of my face, like my sensitive areas. So that's wonderful. Oh my god. For 7% PHA mandelic and glycolic, I thought this was going to be rather strong, but it's really nice. It says use it three to five times a week, lightly shake, pour a couple of drops, and pat it in just like I did. Fairly simple. Wow. So this is formulated really nicely. I like it. I can't wait to test this out more, but like, basically, it just sunk in. Very simple, and I like it, and it's gave me a nice subtle glow. It's not tacky, and it just sunk in. <laughs> this is really nice. Okay, I approve this, but stay tuned, and I'm going to review this on my channels. Okay, now we're going to go on to the Essence step. So this is a brand that it's not like new right now to me. I've actually been testing it out for like a week, almost two, and this is the Coos Aga Glow Soft Essence. So basically this is like a essence toner hybrid and this is actually a sister brand to Vanilla Co. If you know Vanilla Co, they're famous for their cleansing balm that's very affordable. It comes like in a pink, purple, green, like they have a bunch of different formulas for different skin types. And this is their new sister brand that focuses on fermented rice, as known as sake, which is one of my favorite ingredients. So they sent over their whole line, and this is the essence I've been testing out from them, and it's just so beautiful. Basically, it's got sake in here, right? But it also has centella and calendula, so that's really gonna like tone down redness and heal the skin and just soothe the skin. It also has niacinamide to help with skin cell turnover and really help with redness and blemishes. On top of the sake, it also has rice bran water. So you're getting rice bran water opposed to just like plain old water. You're also getting green tea extract in here to further help with redness and licorice root extract to help with dark spots. So, and it also has a fragrance in here and it all comes from frankincense oil, which is very interesting. And as you can tell, it's very watery on the, on the palms, on the skin, and this sinks in magnificently. And you can layer it up like two to three times and it will give you that supple glow. I'm just gonna put one on today just cause we're testing out so many new products. I don't wanna overwhelm my skin, but it just sinks in and it's absolutely gorgeous. And the frankincense scent, which you know frankincense, 
It's very herbally. Reminds me of Catholic Church. Oh God, all those Sunday smelling frankincense. And so far it has not bothered my skin. It is rather potent in here. It does dissipate, so that's good. But so far it's helped giving me a nice glow, moisturizing or hydrating the skin, and just giving me nice, plump, bouncy, dewy skin. So it's been very nice and I've been really appreciating this formula. It's really nice, I really like it. And I've gone through this and I use it like three in three layers every single morning and it's been doing this for two weeks. So it'll last you quite a while if you just use one layer. But it's very, very nice as a lightweight essence. So stay tuned. I'm actually going to fully review this as a collab with the brand. So stay tuned to my Instagram, at Moda Skin. I'll put it right here and definitely wait for that review. Okay, so we are back. I let the essence sink in. So now we're going to go into a new serum. So this is a brand that I'm very proud of. I've been following them since the very beginning of their journey on social media and building their brand launch. And they just launched a couple weeks ago. And this is an Indian inspired skincare brand. And I know the person who made it, the CEO, the creator, and I've actually interviewed her on my Instagram because I'm very proud of her. And she's been showing kind of like the process of building a skincare brand and everything that goes into it from packaging to idea to marketing to social media. And it's a lot of work, you know. So seeing that built from the ground up is such an amazing thing to watch because it's such a huge endeavor it's so risky and with a skincare market that's so huge it's scary so they've done a great job with building it from the ground up and just kind of like figuring out what their purpose is as a skincare brand and what they really want to tackle so basically that skincare brand is Zayla and this is their Sky Jelly Serum that just launched. They also launched a moisturizer, which um, I'm not going to use today. I'm going to use a different moisturizer. But I'm going to try out the Sky Jelly Serum. And here it is. And they also have adopted that nice ombre coloring. And isn't this interesting? I thought this was a moisturizer until I saw it said Jelly Serum. So it's a serum in one of these like moisturizer bottles, which is threw me off, but I'm glad I made sure. But let me read you the ingredient list. So this is the triple action serum that's supposed to soften and repair the skin. So it starts off with cucumber fruit water, and that's the only like fragrant component in here that's gonna give it that sensorial experience. But it also has niacinamide, it has oat beta glucan high up on the ingredient list. So it's gonna be very soothing and repairing for the skin. It also has caffeine, bisabulu, it has aloe leaf, it has centella extract, it has rose extract, it's got basil extract, it's got ginseng, vitamin E, and it has a couple of peptides in here along with panthenol. So it's very filled to the brim with soothing ingredients that are just going to help your skin barrier do its thing. And it's a very hefty bottle which I absolutely love. And here it is. It is a nice like liquidy texture. So let's apply it. I'm going to get some off of the cap here. And I'm going to grab a little bit more. Okay, might have been too much serum, but we're going to apply it to the skin. Oh, and it smells so much like cucumber water. I mean, you can smell subtle notes of oat in here actually. So that really Let's me know that they really put um, O tie up on the ingredient list as shown. Mmm, this is really nice actually. Wow. Okay. It feels just very cool. It almost feels like a water burst formula where you put it on the skin and it just immediately changes from a gel to like just a water. Very nice, tapping this in, not sticky at all. Feels very fresh. Oh, that's lovely. I really do like that. You know, I'm not big on fragrance in my skincare. I don't mind it in a cleanser, but in my normal skincare that stays on my skin, I don't want it. I do not want it, but it's welcome here to the cucumber water. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, okay. That's nice, and it's sunk in. Slightly tacky, but not in a heavy way. More in a kind of, it's very nice for the skin barrier and it's building kind of like a slight occlusive layer. 
but it's very nice. I like it. Oh my god. So it's nice that I'm actually trying a skincare brand that's actually Indian. You know, like I've only tried K-beauty or Japanese beauty, mostly Asian beauty, some European stuff like and French skincare brands, but not really. Mostly K-beauty and just like Western brands. But I just, K-beauty is my baby. That's how I fell in love with skincare. But I'm glad I'm trying this out and I hope I'm gonna let her know that I tried this on camera and it's very nice doesn't give you like a dewiness but it gives you a nice natural glow and my skin feels very happy right now so yeah this was really cool I can't wait to continue to use this but stay tuned on my other channels to try out their moisturizer but so far I like it it's very nice okay so I've let this set and I will say it still leaves kind of a tacky finish so just know that I can feel this tack but it's not something crazy. Let's see what happens throughout the rest of my routine, but I'll update you guys. So we're gonna use the other half of Smooth Beauty, and that is their Problem Solver Gel Cream Moisturizer. Beautiful bottle, matches their cleanser, lovely little combo, so I'm excited. This one is not supposed to have fragrance in it, so it's not in the ingredient list, but let's read off the ingredient list. So this starts off with 4% niacinamide. It has squalane, it has rosehip oil, it has cholesterol, arbutin, allantoin, it has licorice root extract, ginseng, turmeric, it has oatmeal extract, very excited about that. It has ceramide, it has sake, green tea, panthenol, vitamin E, and six types of hyaluronic acid. But additionally, they also pride themselves in including retinol palmitate, which is a form of vitamin A. So it's supposed to be in the same kind of like family of like retinoids and stuff. It's not as powerful as our actual retinoid, like adapalene, tretinoin, retinol, but it's supposed to have similar benefits, more like kind of like Bakuchio, you know, but more so than Bakuchio. Bakuchio is like an uh, alternative, like a plant extract alternative. Um, retinol palmitate is a vitamin A. So we're gonna see how it feels. So it comes with this little cap to protect it. I love that. I love little details like that. And just look at that white cap, yellow here, clear bottle, ombre paper. They really, this is their baby. They really put a lot of thought into this. I'm gonna shake it up like every skincare I do. I always shake it up. Okay, so it's a gel cream. I love gel creams because they are just so soothing. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna do like, I don't know, four pumps. Oh, we got stuff there. Okay, there we go. Actually, let me do another pump. Okay. I love my moisturizer. I don't care how much I put on. Here it is. Ooh, it's watery, it's sliding down. So it's a nice gel cream clear. Okay, so let's apply it. Mmm. Mmm. That is silky. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Doesn't smell like anything, so this is truly fragrance-free. So I think it was intentional to put fragrance into the cleanser just to make it a sensorial experience, and they know people wouldn't want a leave-on fragrance in a skincare product. Okay, wow. That just sunk in. And it gives, yeah, a nice, nice moisturized feel to the skin. It's really nice. And see, gel creams like that just sink into the skin. I love it. Like, oily skin people, I think, will really enjoy this. And people who just want a natural finish. So, we'll see, you know, hopefully it doesn't break me out, please. But this is ac for acne-prone individuals, but it says all skin types. So, like, acne-prone individuals do not have to worry. I don't know if I'm going to put this... Yeah, I'm going to put this back on. Just to make it... Nice and safe, but here it is, and it is truly sunk in, and I have this nice subtle glow, and slightly tacky, but that's fine. It feels like it was really nourishing and really nice for the skin barrier. Love that it's fragrance-free, and love that I'm getting 4% niacinamide, I'm getting vitamin E, green tea, centella, like all my favorite K-beauty ingredients are in this bottle. And it's a pretty nice bottle, 50 milliliters, 1.69 ounces, but it's supposed to just hydrate, brighten, soothe, combat breakouts, and help your skin be clearer and smoother. So. Really nice. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to continue to use this. Okay, well, everything has sunk in skincare-wise. I feel a little tacky in a good way, and I just went into the mirror to, like, look at my skin, and, like, 
it looks really healthy and really calmed down. So I really liked that routine. They were all really nice. So now time for the most important step of the skincare routine, and that is sunscreen. So I've been saving this sunscreen for a while, and I'm gonna open it up on camera for you guys, and that is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sun Stick. So I've reviewed the original um, Hyaluronic Acid gel sunscreen by Isentree that was kind of like one of the first K-beauty sunscreens to kind of make like a comeback after everything that like happened with um, Korean sunscreens. Yeah, just Korean sunscreens not meeting the SPF that was being put on the label. They were coming out as SPF 19, some were SPF 9, some weren't even disclosed, and they were saying they were SPF 50 plus, PA 4 pluses. So, um, Isentree was one of the first ones to come back with an effective sunscreen that had like three different lab testings in three different um, countries, I believe. One in Korea, I think they also went to Japan, and they also outsourced it somewhere else. Okay, I need to go off camera to open this. Here it is in its glory. I keep saying that in its glory, in its beauty, in its magnificence. I don't know. I love skincare. Beautiful packaging. I mean, look at that blue with the white. I really, really appreciate skincare packaging, guys. So much work goes into it. And now being a full-time content creator, like, I just have so much respect for people doing things that I know are much harder than what I'm doing. Same ingredient list as the original sunscreen, just in a stick form. Look at that, and it's even angled in this weird way. Let's test it out, all right. So here it is, I have not opened it or tried it once, and it's like in this really like, reminds me of a beauty blender, doesn't it? It looks just like one. Let's put it on one side, and then we'll compare it to the other. But let's do it, ooh, very creamy. It does have some tug to the skin. It's not as easy to swipe as the Abib Quick Sunstick. Let's go across here. Fragrance free, just like the original. Let's go on the under eye. See, this is why it's angled, so you can get in there. And I'm gonna go here as well. On the eyelids, don't forget your eyelids, people. People always forget their eyelids, they forget their ears, and the back of their neck. And those are the places people will just let the sun hit them, and that's most of the places people will develop skin cancer, precancerous cells. So always make sure you do that. That's one side. This is all chemical sunscreen, so it's not going to leave a white cast. And you don't even have to, like, kind of, like, tap it in. It's just there. It's not streaky or anything. So let's finish off the rest of the face. And there we go, that's the entire face. And it gives a very natural finish. I don't think it's even like dewy. It just makes your skin look really, really healthy. Even bring you up closer. See how it just goes on really clear? Beautiful. So this is a really easy way to like reapply, really fast way to apply your sunscreen, and just a really good way to not put like a thick, layer of sunscreen where you just feel heavy all day and it could interact with your skincare underneath or with your makeup that you possibly put on top. And this apparently is supposed to be really good on top of makeup. It is creamier than the Abib Quick Sunstick, so it's probably going to drag some makeup off, especially with the hyaluronic acid in here. But this is did not interact with all the new skincare. Like, I was so scared all this was going to pale on me because I've never tried them all together, and that's how you do trial and error to see what works with each other, what's heavy, what's sticky. The only thing I was worried about was the sky jelly, that I thought it was going to make everything pill, but it didn't. And as you can see up close, my skin is not pilly. My skin looks glowy and hydrated. It feels so nice. I love it. This was a beautiful routine, and I think all of these are winners. We're going to have to see how longer um, I'm going to have to try the turmeric illuminating solution by Coco Kind to see if it has some like good exfoliating effects, but it did not tingle or anything. But honestly, out of all these, which one was your guys' favorite? Like, Which one do you want to try? Everything is linked down below. Um, some of them will be affiliate codes, so just Bear that in mind. So when you use them, it really helps my channel out. You do not have to do it, of course, but anything helps. Um, but honestly, for me, 
out of all of them, I'm really looking forward to continuing to use the Problem Solver Gel Cream by Smooth. Really keep your eyes on this brand because I've been talking with the creator of the brand and he seems to be a genuinely nice guy who had his own acne journey and created these products to help people with their acne journey. So can't wait to see what else they do and I can't wait to continue to use this and use the cleanser as a nice gentle cleanser. All right guys, thank you for joining me and I hope you really enjoyed this. Leave a comment below on what skincare is most interesting to you and any suggestions you want for a future video. All right guys, thank you for joining. Bye.